This phone has an awesome exclusive look. It's like almost a unicolor marble look. And the centerpiece of it, of course, is the camera that pops up when you shoot selfies. This is how it looks from one side. And this is how it looks from another side. Hi, this is Brian from Denmark and I bought a girl's phone. Yuck. More on the selfie cam later, because first I want to test off the reaction of, of this phone on a girl, Caddy. And now Caddy is coming here. Let's see her reaction. Yeah, it's going to be evening. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's nice! Let's try to wow. do, try. Well, how do you think it speaks to you as a girl? Because my, th I thought when I saw this phone, it was like a girl's phone. Yes, I also uh, think that. Yeah. It's uh, very uh, feminine. Yeah, you could buy it in, I think there was like four different... This yeah, color is yes. called Angel... Gold. Angel Gold, yeah. Yes. I like the color, it's very, it's a yeah. beautiful design. Actually, it's a kind of the same color actually. Yeah. So on a wow scale, Katie, where does this phone lie? About nine. Nine to, on, on a 10 yes. scale, yeah. Yes. Okay, so now I'm at Katie's house and I've sit, sat her little sister down on the dining room table and I'm gonna film her little sister's reaction to this. So we'll see what her reaction to this is. Okay. There she is. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Clara. Okay, Clara. I got this for you. And this is... Look. Take a look. You may unbox it. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, it's big. Yeah. How should I? Yeah. First of all, try to take a look at it. Yes. What do you think? Uh, how do you think it looks also if, if you look behind? Look on the back side of the phone. What do you think of the color? Uh, cool. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and then uh, turn the phone around. Yeah. Put it into selfie mode. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I tried it normal again. And selfie again. That's really cool. Okay. So what do you think that will do with your... Um, because now you see the back camera that has very good quality is actually also the selfie cam, right? Yes. Yeah. But what do you think about that? Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Selfie cam is out, right? Are you ready to close in? And then... What? So when, as soon as I drop it... Yeah. The camera goes into itself. You could actually also hear it. Yeah. So it goes into itself and then it opens up again as soon as it's landed. Yeah. It came off. Selfie cam. It came off. Selfie cam. First of all, a great disappointment is always the result of great expectations. And I had great expectations for this phone. So kudos to Samsung for trying out something new. I am Brian, your tech friend. I've been using this phone for two months now. I got it for $325 and honestly I couldn't see that it was in this color from the second hand and look at the cover, the cover of the case it's something like white and this is like angel gold color they call it. Here are the ups and the downs. Bixby button removed. Only volume rock up and down and power on. Yeah! So button placement on this phone is very good. Downside, you can't keep the phone turned off in the pocket. It constantly turns itself on. So, mm. so on the upside, you have the selfie cam that records in like this mode. That mode and super wide. And that is excellent, of course, for pictures. That's just one thing we experienced when shooting. 
Okay, then just one thing. Check out these pictures now, because what I experienced was when you used the widest of them all, as I've done in this one, you can see the quality distorts quite a bit, actually. Perhaps you can even see it here. So you can see this is the picture quality of those first shots. That one is pretty good, though the motif, of course, is questionable. But that is actually pretty good quality, you can see. Decent quality, I would say. You can see the hairs of the moustache. And this is, it gets like a little worse there. And then it, when it's the super wide selfie shot, it gets super worse. <laughs> so perhaps things <laughs> match up there. <laughs> okay, so the thing you want to do on this phone is, of course, using its wide aspect, widest possible aspect, and recording in this highest possible frame setting. And this is 30 frames per second and it's 4K. It's a difficult shot, this one actually, because you have this background coming on, the giant sun moving in. So that's some very difficult shots. I made up another video where I try out the stabilization of the AA. So check that up, out right up here somewhere. Well, what I wanted to say is that the stabilization on this phone is not as good but only in full HD, it doesn't stabilize on you know, selfie mode in 4K, and that's terrible. Oh! Uh, yeah. So you can become more in focus and stuff, right? And you can actually also do that in video mode, so... Oh, uh, that's nice! Yeah, so many people are in focus while the background is blurred. <laughs> oh, that's... Great for selfies. No. In some modes at night time it shakes every single picture you shoot. And why have two options when none of them work? So will you be able to use this as a vlogger? I would say yes if you have it only mounted on a tripod for those constant steady shots where you'll be able to see yourself and then you can record in 4K the normal frame, uh, the 16 by 9 ratio. So yes, use it for vlogging. If you want to see yourself, of course it's the optimal phone for that. And you can record in 4K, but you have to have it mounted on a tripod. Otherwise, it, it compromises the steadiness of the shot. So if you're an outdoor vlogger, you will not want to use this phone, unfortunately. Unfortunato. Can you activate this phone easily? Of course not. The fingerprint button is a hell. So it's like twice, two or three or four attempts. And many, many times I often find myself resorting to just slide it up and pressing in my code to get on. And that gave me another idea for the title of this video. The phone that is constantly idle. But it's angel gold color must mean that it's a good phone. Mm. But you can buy a cover that will make this phone magically work despite what you say. No, you can't. The phone has a tendency to slide out of the top of the plastic casing like a condom. And the special fit casing separates in the pocket, ending up as just bits lying around in your pocket. Okay, the last thing I want to show you about this Samsung A80, that is that it's got no earpiece speaker. Please notice that. And that's because when you want to speak, you just do like this and then the sound comes out of the screen. I don't know how, but that's just magic. Deadly. Now, will the Samsung A80 be able to kill a colleague? With its 220 grams, it most certainly will be able to end all happy days in the office. So, what's your day like? I was like, what am I going to be like? Are you proud of me? I am Brian, your tech friend, and if you're still with me, let's shoot the A80 down. I bought a girl's phone. Yuck. But does this phone fit in a girl's pocket? It fits in a girl's pocket like a horse's 
And of course the title I'm using now, or at least when I uploaded this video, Vlogger's Nightmare. Cause it's a foul and a miss. It aims for the girls with its looks and for the vloggers with its rotating camera, but it misses both groups. The Samsung A80, the phone for nobody. It's like a bulky flagship phone. And if you were to compare it with a human, you'd say it's like the overweight, underachieving colleague. And that's not a nice thing to say to a phone. So this is the end of the video of the Samsung A80. I hope you've enjoyed the content. And if you have, please subscribe, leave a like and share a comment if you want to. This is Brian, your tech friend from Denmark, signing out and have a very nice day. Adieu. But it, but it is, is a great it is phone. Great phone. It has, it has to be. Has I want to buy, to buy it. But it's angel gold color must mean that it's a good phone.